All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's already been an eventful morning, as you can see right here. So I spilled some honey in the doozer and uh, the bees found it. So we're gonna let them clean that up for us and then come back and fix it later. <laughs> He's trying to get the honey supers that were in the doozer into the bed of his truck so he can take them over to the hives. Off to take care of the bees. Well, between the dog and the bees and everything else, it's been, uh, it's been quite a morning. But uh, I went over there, checked on the hives. They're both fine. They were just out looking for food. And I had opened the doozer to get tools out of it, forgot to close it, and there was honeycomb in there. But we are going to move on. We're gonna to try to get under the window done. We're gonna show you all how that works because a lot of people have been asking how you do windows. So we're gonna do the base of the window and we'll show you every step of the way. We are gonna try four different ways of doing the window, one on each corner, and we'll show you what we mean by that. But uh, come take a look. This gap is where a window will be. We have a three foot wide by seven foot tall window that's gonna go in here. Um, so this is exactly from here to here is three feet wide. And then this little space here is for the flange for the window. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill the bottom 18 inches of this with rammed earth. It's up to about here, actually where the shade line is right there. And then we're gonna do a concrete cap with another one of these steel pieces in to cover the bottom flange of the window. And notice the foam comes all the way up. We're gonna space it down an inch and a half because that's how wide the flange is and only come to there. Uh, we're gonna be doing how the two pieces of the wall come together four different ways. One, so there'll be a chamfer right here. On this side, because it's kind of gacked up anyway, uh, we're not gonna do anything there. So what we're gonna do is just uh, bump the two pieces right up against each other. And then on this side, we're going to, oh, you know what? Hmm. We can't not do a chamfer there. We were gonna do one chamfer. Yeah. We were gonna do two chamfers here. Two chamfers here. So that there was a large triangle. Yeah, so this will basically come out to here and it'll be two chamfers side by side which will kind of look like this, or I guess like that, from your perspective. So this is a wall and this is a wall and then the two walls coming together will look like that. But I think we should do that same thing on the other side. Yeah, so we're gonna get all that set up, all the chamfers in and in place and then ram it. It'll be like half a bucket, if that, of rammed earth and then probably maybe like a couple of bags of cement. Well, I guess it would be the equivalent of a couple of bags of cement. There. Okay, so that one, you can see there are two chamfers back to back to fill in that gap. This guy's got two. That one has one. And this one still has none. And that's what we're gonna do. That's our story and we're sticking to it. So let's uh, fill some buckets, shall we? Sure. It's a ramen. Do this. Yeah, that's a shallow lip. I think we'll just get a shallow one and then another shallow one. That way we get some variation in color. Probably four inches of concrete, so that's that'll probably be all right. Anything? No, yeah, let's do it rammed and then we'll see. All right. Like another half bucket, but we won't use all of it. Okay. 
And then what we'll do is we'll just add to what's left more cement and that'll give us our concrete. Okay. Yeah. We also need to do rebar. Oh yeah. So you can see we just hammered in the epoxied uh, rebar. And now we're ready for another lift. Let's do it. Pushed out much. No. It's two beams. I gotta go cut them. Okay. I just realized we made a mistake. What? Because we did this to the exact height of the window, we forgot to take into account the flange. You're gonna have to chip out the rammed earth right there to get the flange in? No. Cut the flange. Yeah, we can cut the flange, but then we're still gonna have a lip right there. It's gonna look wonky. That side's fine, because we did it right on that side. Yeah, there's not enough room up top for us to go up. So either we'll have that lip there, and that'll just be our little like mistake. Oopsie. Our little oopsie. Or we can chip it out. Bummer. Well, that's why we're starting with the garage. That's why we're starting with the garage. Oh, that means we're gonna have that problem up there too. Seven feet. I'm gonna go get a tape measure. So that is seven feet exactly. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have the same problem up here. The flange is gonna, because the flange is bigger. Because the flange is bigger. Okay. Well, we're learning. Yeah, we are learning. So I think that's why you don't put those lips on the, the top or the bottom. You just go straight up with it. Well, now we know. Now we know. Well, and we haven't done that one yet, so that's good. In this one, we're making a custom door, so it won't matter. We can make it any height we want. We need to bring it down an inch. Yeah, if we need to bring two. it down an inch and a half, we can. So that's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Let's put in our uh, steel beams and go from there. All right. So we had several little goofs all in a row, but we managed to fix them and be back on track. So take a look at this. This foam had moved over by about an inch. Well, maybe three quarters of an inch, which means that this was not in line with this. So when I went to put the window in, the bottom flange would be out by three quarters of an inch. And that's because you rammed this side before you rammed that side. So the foam pushed that way. Correct. And we forgot to put in our little gap spacers. Okay. So, uh, thank you for pointing out that it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, so, uh, so then I was like, all right, well, let's try clamping it. Well, when I clamped it, it, it pulled them together, but it was still because the foam was out, it wasn't going to stay. So then I thought, let's put these, I'll cut pieces to this exact length, hammer them in like wedges to push it that way and force it to go where I want it to go. So this one worked just fine because this, this side was out by a lot less, but this side was the one that was out by a full three quarters. Well, when I started to put the wedge in, this uh, separated from the wall, from oh, this yeah. side here. And as we all have learned with rammed earth, 
Once you separate that, you're pretty much, there's no getting it back. Because we had rammed it well enough, this side of the wall was already done. It was solid, it wasn't going anywhere, so it didn't actually push out. So this separated from that wall. Well, then I came over here, retightened the turnbuckle, and it pushed it right back up against this again. So then I put in this little handy dandy cross piece, which ties these two together, hammered that in, and it forced this all the way back to where it needs to be. So we are good to go again. So now we got to pour concrete in here without getting it everywhere. Honestly, I think our best bet is going to be to fill five gallon buckets with cement or with concrete and pour it in, shovel it in, do all that stuff. So, okay. yeah. So our wall is marked right there just with a scratch line. That side will be angled out on the sill so that water can drain. And then the bottom of that blue tape is where our concrete level should be on the outside. We've got it here on the inside as well. Yep. I think we're ready to pour. All right, so. Sure, anyone who does concrete professionally is just cringing right now at everything I'm doing. But we make no claims to be professionals. Nope. We're less about pretty and more about function. At the moment, when we get to the house part, maybe, maybe we'll care more about that. But... Well. If you want your vehicle detailed, get bees. <laughs> All right, so we got that wall piece in. Not perfect, but it'll do. And uh, we'll do it better next time and find other ways to do stuff. So I think that's it for today. Thanks for joining our adventure. Mm -hmm.